Greetings, wrestling fans. This is another edition of the In the Ring Show with your host, Devious Damien. This is my review of this past Friday night's uh, SmackDown. The show kicks off with a tag team match. The Big Show and uh, the Great Khali against Wade Barrett and uh, Cody Rhodes. No surprise, uh, Khali and Show win. Then after the match, Show knocks out the Great Khali. It's sort of like a cheap shot. Um, you know, they just storms out of the ring. So, you know, you cut to that, and then there's a, then after that, there's a little segment with Mark Henry, um, you know, wanting to take Orton's place in the Elimination Chamber, um, because as you, on the other, at the beginning of the show, even before the tag match, it was revealed that Randy Orton had a concussion, but if you're on WWE.com before SmackDown aired, you already knew that anyway, um, but... So then, Big Show comes in to the office of uh, Teddy Long while Mark Henry's talking to him. And, um, basically what happens here is, um, Mark, or excuse me, Big Show comes in, kind of sucker punches Mark Henry, destroys Teddy Long's office. Here we go again, another uh, uneventful Big Show heel turn. He turns heel, but ends up doing nothing. Typical Big Show heel turn. Um... So then, we go to a, another match where there's um, Primo and uh, Epico against the Usos. And, God forbid, they give the, the Usos a victory. They got put over the fucking tag champs again. You got fucking Primo, who they fucking released, his, released Carlito, the more talented of the two. You want, you want proof that Primo has no fucking talent? He has to steal his brother's finishing maneuver, the backstabber. If he wants to use the move, I don't have a problem with it. But come up with your own fucking finisher. Quit stealing your brother's shit, asshole. I mean... I understand that, you know, maybe... Um... You know, no, okay, granted, maybe Carlito gave him permission to use the move. But see, the thing is, you know, Car it's not like Carlito has been gone for like a super long time. Fans still remember Carlito. The difference between, you know, what Randy Orton, you know, using the RKO as like DDP's Diamond Cutter, some fans may not have watched, you know, WCW, who watched WWE then, so they may not have known who Diamond Dallas Page was. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. But Carlito, you know, he, his last TV appearance really wasn't all that long ago. So, real, I mean... So really, that you know, that's probably fresh in a lot of fans' minds. So, but anyway, that's another t that's a topic for another time. Um, more segments, blah 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 about who's replacing Randy Orton and well, who's what, who's doing what at the elimination chamber. Blah 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 blah. Whatever. Um, then you have uh, a match with Jinder Mahal and um, Ezekiel Jackson. Um, Jinder Mahal wins, whatever, stupid match, didn't really care, um, made Ezekiel Jackson look like a putz, um, then you had Daniel Bryan, um, well, okay, actually, the Daniel Bryan thing happened before the Jinder, Jinder Mahal, I mean, Ezekiel Jackson match, so, uh, Daniel Bryan comes out and starts bragging on what he did to the big show, and Randy Orton on Raw, blah, 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 whatever, whatever, um, you know, I'm paraphrasing because, well, you know, I really don't feel like, you know, telling you word for word what he said. Um, so he starts bragging about how he's beaten Randy Orton tonight by forfeit. Tay Long comes out says, oh, no, you're not getting up that easy, blah, blah, blah. Sheamus comes out. Um, so, of course, Daniel Bryan now, excuse me, um, Daniel Bryan, you know, basically proceeds to um, provoke Sheamus, cause him to be disqualified. Daniel Bryan escapes with a disqualification victory. Again, yawn. Spit in Seamus' face. Spit in his face. Um, slapped him in the face. You know, whatever. Just all these little things to provoke him. Because, you know, the, the Irish temper. Um, then there was a Divas... T or not, Yeah, a Divas tag team match. Um, Tamina and uh, Alicia Fox against... Um, Beth Phoenix and Natalia. Now, this match had a real fucked up weird ending. I... Don't even understand what the purpose of this ending was. If they make no mention of it, I'm not going to understand why. 
Um, the referee um, decided to, pre you know, he got something in his eye. It was like, oh, shit, my wall. You know, um, Natalia had Alicia and the sharpshooter. A little fishy. That I don't understand what the ref, what involvement the referee was supposed to have. I'm not, I'm not really clear on that. Um, so anyway, Tamina and Alicia win due to the referee being, in my estimation, a little crooked. For what reason I don't know. Will they will they get into it? Will they play it off? Who knows? Um, <clears throat> then it was announced that there's going to be a battle royal. To see who wins the um, to see who goes in the elimination chamber to take over for Randy Orton, and I announced this earlier in the week, and WWE.com fucked up because by re revealing this, they basically did a spoiler, um, by revealing that Santino is taking over for Orton. So basically, you know, by the time the battle royal came around, for any of you who read that on WWE.com, you already knew that Santino was going to win this fucking battle royal, which. And he's the one that eliminated Drew McIntyre. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they put this fucking guy over Drew McIntyre. Again. You know, I know some people say that Drew McIntyre is a waste of a contract. That's your opinion. You're entitled to it. I disagree, but whatever. You're going to tell me he's a waste, but you got fucking Santino Morella, who, you know, what? I don't get what the fuck it is with this guy. Why the fuck are they pushing this guy? He's out there as a fucking joke. He does a stupid fucking The Cobra, which... What, what does the fuck does the Cobra do? Can somebody explain this to me? What the fuck is that move supposed to accomplish? So anyway, it, it comes down to, you know, him and Otunga, and of course, I would have even rather they put Otunga over, as far as, rather than Santino. At least, you know, Otunga looks like he could possibly win the thing. Um, the, name one person who legit thinks Santino can win this fucking thing. You know, there's only one way that Santino will win this thing, and that who has been in charge of the creative shit on SmackDown is like smoking more than uh, Bob Marley ever did. I swear, um, because that's what you'd have to be to you know put Santino over in the elimination chamber. I think they're smoking up something really fucking good in that sharing for putting him in the chamber in the first place. I'm sorry. The Santino fucking Morella. Get the fuck out of my face with this bullshit. But on the plus side, on a more positive note, the Off the Rope show had a sign on SmackDown tonight. Um, I thought that was pretty fucking cool. Um, you know, hopefully, maybe one day my show will catch on like theirs do, and I'll get signs. Hello for the In the Ring show at a Raw or a SmackDown event. Ha happen anytime soon, I doubt it, but hey, I can dream, right? Or even TNA. Or T I'll settle for TNA. Hell, I'll settle for... As long as it's on some kind of, you know, uh, program where it could be nationally televised. or even worldwide... Yeah, nationally or even, hell, worldwide televised, I'll settle for it. Um, but anyway, this has been Devious Damien with your SmackDown review. Um, I'm coming in your way, I'm coming your way in a few minutes with a TNA review. So, this is Devious Damien for now, signing off.